Hello and welcome back to my stream. I am Ombreon, and I'm about to show you how to Stargate Russia Zerg. Let's jump right into this replay. So I play Protoss mostly, and uh, I have found a nice little build that allows you to build a Stargate early, uh, Chrono Boost out four oracles, and totally destroy your opponent's workers. Now this hasn't worked for me on any other race, so far just uh, Zerk, um, but uh, it works, it's worked a number of times, probably half a dozen or ten, and uh, there's only been one or two times that it hasn't worked, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's, uh, it's a fun build. Um, it's not fun for my opponent, in, in fact for my opponent it's incredibly cheesy, and they really don't like it. So to start this build off, I'm going to get an early gateway, probably a, a 10, 10, 9 or 10 gate. Uh, I'm going to get my gas pretty early so I can start harvesting that as soon as possible. doesn't really matter what your opponent's doing. Uh, this build is hard to stop. Unless they scout it. If they scout it, then you lose, pretty much. So this is an all-in. Um, it has to do damage. It has to, in my opinion. Um... So let's take a look at a couple things here. I've, I'm still getting a fair number of workers. I, I want a full, you know, 17, 18 gathering minerals, and then three on each gas. Um, you, you'll want to put your cybernetics core down as soon as humanly possible. So that is the priority. Um, right after your gateway, you want to put your cybernetics core down, and then um, you want to have at least one or two in this geyser and three in this geyser so that you have enough to put down your stargate um, as soon as humanly possible. Uh, you can delay it a little bit, but the longer you delay it, the more chance your zerg opponent has to scout it. Um, in this game, I decided to get a stalker out early because I was tempted to kill this overlord. He, unfortunately, was a little bit too sneaky for me and uh, managed to escape. Um, when I'm playing against Zerg, I like to stop at their third base, so I like to put a pile on here, so I have a probe ready for that. I also like to keep a probe up uh, out on the, out of the map in the um, in the normal walking path, so I can see any Zerglings or roaches coming across the map. It's a really good idea. You should do it too. So my Zerg opponent is droning up, drone, drone, droning up, getting a macro hatch. I guess he's going um, some kind of early roach rush. I probably should have scouted this, should have seen that he had all these millions and millions of gas. Not sure why he's got this much gas. Let's look at the resources. Well, we can see the resources, actually. We don't have to click on anything. Um, let's slow this down a little bit. Uh, okay, so he's got a ton of gas. He's got 325 gas. I think he went a little overboard on that. Maybe he was planning a, a fast muta switch or possibly into infestors. But uh, he definitely overdid it on that. Um, uh, once you have three wor oracles out, you can go over and start attacking, but it gives away what you're doing. So I like to be safe and have the fourth out. If you have four oracles out, you can decimate their entire base. Um, not the buildings, of course, only the drones. You only want to focus the drones. The first thing you have to kill, of course, is the queen because it will be attacking back. But with four oracles, the queen will go down very quickly. Let's look at the worker count right now. If I was, if I don't do any damage, this guy is f at 50 drones, and I'm at 25 drones, 20, 49 to 26. I am way behind at this point. Way, way, way behind. I don't have an expansion. He does. His is fully saturated. I'm getting up a forge, which is defensive. But basically, um. The, the the things that this builder are weak against are roach attacks, um, as you can see he's building roaches, uh, or baneling busts. So what you want to do at home is have a sentry here, ideally. Since I didn't see a lot of zerglings out on the map, um, I didn't think that he was going baneling, so I didn't build a sentry yet, but you should have a sentry out pretty early. You want a several zealots to stop the zerglings, and a stalker too to fire over top. Um, and uh, a mothership core is not a bad idea. When I do this build, I usually don't get a mothership core because I need the gas for my um, oracles. Uh, so anyway, um, to to stop roaches, another good thing, or to stop early aggression like roaches or banelings, another good thing to do is have a cannon. You do have the minerals for it because 
you're pumping gas into these oracles and not as much minerals. Um, and you, you can see, I'll just show you how fast these oracles kill this queen almost instantly. The guy doesn't even have time to pull his drones. They all go down. I mean, one oracle has seven kills, one has eight. It's easy enough to follow the drones. The oracles can keep up with them and kill them at the same time. Um, second queen goes down. These oracles' energy lasts for a really long time. D if you're winning the battle, don't turn off their energy because it will start. It will cost another 25 energy to initiate their beam. Um, don't focus on buildings. Don't try to take out their spore crawlers um, unless unless you have enough energy. But I successfully just killed every single drone. He is down to one drone. So let's look at units lost. I killed 46 workers there. Well, 44 workers minus a couple queens. And he is totally screwed. I mean, he has no minerals, so he can't produce more drones. And the only option for him now at this point is to do this counterattack. So you can see how I'm prepared for that. Um, I managed to kill a couple more drones that are popping out. Um, I just happened to have the energy. Then you then you send your oracles home to help with the defense. Uh, they don't they're not going to do any good in his base anymore because he's barely got any drones. And uh, at this point, you, I am way ahead. I have 25 workers to his six. Um, so he's sending roaches across to kill me. This is his all his last chance. He has to do damage with them. But because of this, you know this blockade here because of the sentries um, with the cannon and the stalkers there's just nothing that he can do about about this and I've won the game um, I'm using these guys to help against roaches usually you don't want to waste the energy against roaches uh, I, I always follow this up with the void ray in case he does have too many roaches for me to deal with but um, this game this game's over I mean I killed so many workers with that and um, if he has a spore crawler up early your four oracles can kill that spore crawler and kill the queen before one of them dies. One of them might go down during that fight, but you can still kill all of their workers. So this doesn't always work. I won't say this is an automatic win, but it's an extremely effective strategy. So definitely try this out. It's a lot of fun for for you Protosses, and. Uh,